1943, we received through our many and varied intelligence sources reports that the Germans were developing a weapon with which they proposed to bomb London. The incidents depicted in this film are in all essentials true to the heroes of the Polish underground and the unknown secret agents who helped to save London. We dedicate this picture. Achtung, Achtung! Hier spricht der Reichsländer Warschau. Our glorious forces have again achieved outstanding victories against the English. The Führer has kept the promises he made you. The Third Reich and all liberated countries today enjoy a peaceful life of law and order as never before. Poland especially is a great debt to the Führer. A new order and a new way of life have been introduced, which all true Polish patriots can feel nothing but gratitude. Heil Hitler! Get inside! Come on! I'm not a Stop! Oh, that's the Stop! Wait a minute! I'm not a Stop! 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 What the nurses did to your parents? Dead. Couldn't let that happen to you. I must go before they come looking for me. Are we ever going to see each other again? Of course we will. I'll be back soon, you see. How can you be that sure? How can you be sure of anything? You better be sure I love you. Because that's what's going to bring me back. Stefan, I had the devil sent out to get here in time. We knew your name was on the list for volunteer labor. And we wanted to talk to you before you left. I don't want him to get mixed up in the whole army. We've got quite enough trouble without asking for any more. Stasha, why do you come here? Why don't you leave us alone? Please listen to him. Stefan. I think you can help us. We're led to believe that you're going to be sent to a place on the Baltic coast. It's a very important area. And if you see anything of the least interest, you can pass the information to us. Well, I'm hardly likely to see anything of importance. But if I do, how the hell do I let you know about it? Now, listen carefully. You're an intelligent man. The sort of man we need. Now, if there's any scrap of information, you'll recognize it. And if you do, you'll include this sentence in a letter to your wife. How do you know he'd be able to write? Well, if he goes where we expect, he'll be able to write one letter card a week to his family. Dear God. What is the sentence? You include these words. I hope Aunt Cassia's heart is better. We'll be in touch with Sophia. I write the sentence, then what do I do? Nothing. We'll get in touch with you. Now listen. If any man or woman comes to you and uses these words, have you knocked the neck off the bottle? You'll know they're one of us. Understand? Have you knocked the neck off the bottle? Right. Now I must be off. Well, good luck and don't worry about Sophia. We'll take good care of her. Stephen, don't do it. Please don't get mixed up with them. They haven't got a chance against the Nazis. We must. It's all we can do. I must go. Stefan. Tadek, I'm glad to see you. I thought you were with the partisans. I was. But my plans to get my parents out of Poland failed. When these orders came out, I had to come back. Couldn't let them be taken instead of me. I'm in the same position myself. When they threaten reprisals, they really mean it. Olski's family, they shut them all last week. 
Do you realize what I might have done to hinder them with my knowledge of explosives? What can I do in a labor camp? Maybe something? Jakubowski. Rolista Skopje. Krow. 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 Well, here's something for your belly. And you have nothing to say? My name is Stefan Novak. And your profession? School teacher. Sir! Sir. Forget it, Fritz. It's getting late. Your name and occupation? Tadeusz Pavlik. I'm a watchmaker. Speak up. What are you? I'm a watchmaker. All right, everybody. Line up. Hold it to the right. of Poland, do not despair. The day of vengeance is near at hand. The Nazis will be driven from our soil. Long live Poland.
everyone. But don't be afraid. Nobody's going to hurt you. But at the moment, I am very short of accommodation. So I must separate you. All men up to 45 will have to go to one camp. The women, children, and other men, they go to another camp. But don't worry. I promise you, you will all see each other very soon again. Yes! Understand this? You are volunteer laborers. That means work. If you do your work well, you will be well treated. There will be three meals a day, and you will receive four rice marks a week. You will be permitted to write one letter card home a week. Your privileges depend on your good behavior. Slacking will be dealt with severely. Anyone attempting to escape He'll be shot, and so will ten men from his hut. Dismiss. It's nice to know we're appreciated and well paid. Do you think the cards will be delivered? I think so. You know, keep the cattle happy. <laughs> I learned how to repair watches. What do you suppose this place is for? Probably some experimental station. Experiments in what? Who knows, some new kind of horror of Hitler's? Germs, gas? Got any idea where we are? Pinamundi on the Baltic coast. 
This must be the place Stanislav hoped we'd be sent to. Look out. Now you two, you're here to work, not talk. Get on with it! Are you ready? I know one thing I'd like to do with this rock. I know one thing I'd like to do. Get inside those gates. I have a special job for two of you. Requiring brains and skill. Have any of you men had university educations? Speak up. Go on. Yes, I have. So. And what did you do? I was a schoolmaster. Perfect. And this man here was a... Shut up! Let him speak for himself. Were you university men? No. Technical school. I'm a watchmaker. So. Neither of you will be on the working party tomorrow. Report to me in my office. At ease. what we've let ourselves in for. of us. We're almost part of the scenery now. Stop. Why? Wait here. Tip up the cart. What for? Tip it up, you'll see. in the hangar. What does it look like to you? A small aircraft, I suppose. There's no place for a pilot, no propeller. Maybe they haven't put the propeller on yet. No, I don't think that's it. There's no place for a propeller either. Look out. I've got an idea about that thing we saw this morning. Hmm? I think it might be some sort of a guided bomb. You mean controlled by radio or something? Maybe. Everything fits. No propeller, no pilot. You're right, this is vitally important. What do we do? I'll ask about Uncassie tomorrow. <laughs> I was told to come here. Who are you? Mrs. Stefan Novak.
I wonder if Aunt Cassia's heart's any better. Anna, what did you give that man? Nothing. Pick it up. Now, eat it. God? visit the dentist. Any more? Let a look here, Doctor. A pull from the labor camp here, Doctor. Extraction. Here, I want to get away early. Bring him in quickly. Why not let me do it here, Doctor? I need some practice in extractions. <laughs> not a bad idea. You have a go. Pull his damned head off if you like. You. Not you, wait outside. I can't leave the prisoner here, Doctor. Don't answer me back, wait outside. My orders are not to let him out of my sight. Sit down. Thank you. Up the neck off the bottle. Is he listening? idea work magnificently. Only casualty, one tooth. But it's my guess they're onto something very important. Yes, I think you're right. All this dovetails perfectly with that report Chavik sent in about those small aircraft wings. The ones the British were so interested in. Accept my congratulations on behalf of your husband. Thank you. I think they should be sent off at once. No, oh, I'll cure it and get Antec to take it. Oh, no, please. Please let me take it. I think Stefan would like that. Is everything all right? Yes, conditions are good. They are receiving as well. Good. Give me your book. There's a report just in from the Polish underground that I think you ought to seize it. What's it about, Peter? 
Now, two men from a labor camp working in a factory have seen a small, pilotless aircraft. Who? Pina Munda. You're right, this is interesting. We must have a look at that dossier we've got on Pina Munda. You remember that stuff you got from the Belgian? Yes. Seems he was onto something after all. Contact the Poles again, tell them we are most interested, and to tell these chaps to dig out all the information they can. I think we'll get the raft to fly a recce over the place. All right, then. Can I speak to the Air Commodore? Colonel Westmore, Military Intelligence. Afternoon, Air Commodore. Pina Mundus come up again. Have you locked the neck of the bottle? Have you found Cassius Hobbs any better? At last. I've been trying to contact you for days. My name's Colin. You got a message? We haven't much time now. Listen closely. I'm your contact from now on. There's a message for you in the cistern of that laboratory over there. You're to use it as your letterbox. You leave messages there. I'll collect them and leave others for you. Thank you. Doesn't look as though she's coming. I can't see you here anymore. I'm going to work in one of the manager's homes. Well, that's wonderful. That's just what we need. Pick up any information you can. Watch for me every night at the wire. Anna! The very week I had arranged my bridge parties, Herman tells me we've got to billet some men. How many? Two. Haven't you got any? You are lucky. I've got three. But it's all supposed to be very secret. Oh, what nonsense. How can it be secret? I've had two extra beds brought in, and they even gave me a Polish girl to help. Haven't you got anyone? Yes, one can. Thank you. I wonder what it's all about. What are these men, and where do they come from? The men are from Dusseldorf, factory managers. Didn't Herman tell you? <laughs> Herman, he never says a thing. He's a security man. You never know whether he's going to the bathroom or to the Gestapo. But he did say something about scientists. Factory managers and scientists. God, I bought Pinnemon. What a dump. At least we are out of the box. <laughs> Make a bell, forget it. Can't you think of anything else? Can you think of anything better? Let me show Marsh. Most important. Where is Jan transmitting from tonight? 
From the Asmeskis? Good. He's got to get his message off immediately. The British will blast Pinamunda out of existence and kill the whole lot of them. Scale raid on Philly Munda will not be popular. The cry is bomb Berlin. We obviously can't divulge the real reason for the raid. Any rumors of German secret weapons would cause great alarm and despondency. That's precisely why the real nature of the target is not being disclosed. What are your plans, Sir Marshal? We found a stretch of the English coast approximately resembling Pinamunda, and bomber squadrons are now making practice runs over it. The objective must be obliterated in one mass raid giving the meeting of scientists you spoke about no time to disperse. Good evening, gentlemen. You're all aware that the Fuhrer takes the greatest interest in this weapon. He insists that the attack on London should start not later than the end of this year. The British will be completely surprised. These mass raids will so destroy their morale, they'll be forced into turning their energies from the Second Front to their homeland. Fuhrer demands not less than a thousand flying bombs a day to start and expand to 5,000 a day as our ultimate objective. You men are in charge of the factories where the weapon will be produced. We have prepared a film showing all the details of its construction. We will now show you this film. The flying bomb is an automatically controlled jet propelled aircraft. The wings are detachable and the fuselage is built up in five sections. The missile is launched from a steel and concrete ramp which is pointed in the direction of the target. The projection of the missile is accomplished by means of a piston traveling within a long steel tube. The generator being attached to the ramp produces steam which forces the piston up the tube. The missile is here seen ready for firing. When the missile has attained the required height, the stabilizing gear comes into operation and the aircraft levels off. The fuel carried gives a range of 500 kilometers. This brings London within easy reach of our launching sites. On approaching the target, a radio note is emitted, thus enabling the control room to plot its position. When the exact calculated distance has been run, the elevator is deflected, putting the bomb into a steep dive on its objective. An experimental missile is here seen being launched. Here it is in slow motion. The blast from this weapon is capable of devastating an area. Achtung, Bomber! Achtung, 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 Achtung! Englische Bomber! Achtung, Achtung!
top to all ravens and crows. The attack's going well. Keep up the good work. You've got a chance. Time for explanations. So no way to get you out of here. You've got to pretend to be our prisoner. Any Polish girl seen with two SS. Come on, struggle. Struggle! Leave me! Four top tall ravens and crows. Whatever sort of a 
plant they had down there is going to be closed for alteration. Well done, Quartop, signing off. such damage. What did the signal say? Investigate and report on air raid damage at Pediminder. This is not the air raid. It's an earthquake. Go and see if you can find what's happened at headquarters. You can get through there. Continues, the raid was entirely successful and Peniminder is completely devastated. While Bomber Command has not. Do you hear? This expense. <laughs> we can all be proud. Especially you. <laughs> it is obvious that the enemy had complete information about the layout of the factory and precise details and dates of the conference. The leakage of security has been dealt with. Certain measures have already been taken. The man McGraw has a surviving scientist, is he here? He's waiting outside. Bring in here, McGraw. I will not waste time telling you the importance of the disaster. I want to know how far your work on the bomb had progressed. General Yashonek will tell you that... General Yashonek was shot this morning. I am asking you. Full-scale flying tests of the final model were due to start next week, Herr Reisführer. Next week? Yes. So you are not quite ready to start production. It would have been if... If I know what ifs, I want facts. I'm a man who deals in facts. When can you be ready? To rebuild Penamunda will take. Penamunda will not be rebuilt. If another experimental plant is necessary, we will build it beyond the range of enemy bombers. 
Here in Western Poland is the place. No bomber force could penetrate to there with sufficient fuel to return. If you are given top priority, how soon can you build your plant and be in a position as advanced as you were before the raid? It's not only a question of machinery. It's the men we lack, the technicians. They will be trained. It will take time. How long? Six months to the trials, and a further six months to production. You will run your trials in three months. You will be in production in six months. You will build your plant here, and you will be personally responsible to the Führer. people in London have asked me to give you their thanks. Please sit down. Thumbs up. Now the army of Raelle Pienemunde might easily change the whole course of the war. It will certainly delay the use of the weapon for some time. Well, those thanks must include the others. Without them, I could have done nothing. Oh, certainly. Now, we don't think the Germans will have built Pienemunde. You know, if it was raided once, it can be raided again. But our latest intelligence reports lead us to believe that the Germans plan to rebuild in the area of Blitzner. That's where we want you to go. Oh, yes, and we'd like your wife to accompany you. A man and wife are much less conspicuous than a man alone. Well, what exactly do you want me to do? Get all the information that you can. And if it's humanly possible, get a photograph of the weapon. Will you go? Of course. But if you agree, I'd like my friend Tadek to come with me. We escaped from Pinamundi together. He's a technician and he might be most useful. Where is he? Well, the Krupa family are hiding him. Anna, the girl I told you about, is with him also. No doubt it can be arranged. Let's get there before the Germans. So if you tell them there's a radio war stuff. Look, I found a bit. It's hot. It's like part of the electrical equipment. I think it's part of a gyro compass. Good, we'll pick up anything you can find. Out here they come. How'd they get here so fast? They must be tracking the things with radar. What do we do? Be dumb and help. What are you men doing there? 
We saw the aeroplane crash and ran over to see if we could help the pilot. I see. Uh, that's very proper of you. Um, but we will take over now. You will return to your farm. But can't we help? There's nothing you can do. You will be compensated for any damage. Now, will you please leave? Come back later and see what else we can find. Next time I'll wear my asbestos shirt. Where'd you find that big piece? Behind the trees, about 200 meters away. I can learn no more from those fragments. I'm a scientist, not a conjurer. I must see one of these missiles, or at least a photograph of a complete one. I should think there's as much hope of that as the Titra will give you a set of blueprints for a birthday present. Still, I'll get on to Warsaw again. Well, they haven't done so badly so far. This is the point here. The hill is steep, and there is a sharp bend between high banks where you can hide our main force. The trucks have to slow right down to get drowned. I'm posting a man here, who can signal when a suitable one is coming. Unfortunately, they usually travel in convoys of four or five. Too many for us to tackle. But sometimes, one comes by itself. Then, it's just a matter of waiting. How many men can you raise? Oh, about... Twenty. Is there much traffic along the road? Oh, no, very little. You, you should be able to open the case and get your photograph. Unless another convoy is following pretty close behind, our men can deal with the odd car that might turn up. How soon can you be ready? Oh, my men can be in position tonight. Then, as I said, just a matter of waiting. There's only another hour to dawn. This will be too late for tonight. There may still be a chance. Now, let's get this straight. We're only concerned with the contents of the truck. You take care of the rest of the action. No need to worry about that. You know, we've grown very close these past few months. We started out playing farmers on orders from headquarters. I guess we extended the orders a bit. The job is almost over, Tata. After we get our pictures tonight, we'll be brought back to Warsaw. We might even go to London to rejoin the Polish army. If I do go, you'll come with me. I love you so very much. If anything should happen to Don't us, worry. Nothing will. We're coming to that tricky bend now. Have your gun ready, Hans. Don't worry. It's quiet enough here. Nothing ever happens. <laughs> Sophie, get your camera ready.
take you to headquarters. Give me a hand. No time to waste. A German armor company will be here at any moment. Everything must be destroyed. The radio, the stores, everything. Take all hey, the guns and ammunition. Why didn't your lookouts warn us about the German patrols? I'm afraid we'll never know. Eight of my men. Oh, we must run. How badly is the girl wounded? Only a scratch here, Oberst. A bullet grazed her head. Slight concussion. Thank you. Clear out, all of you. Kranz! Have a look around. Well, young woman, you have been caught red-handed carrying arms. We know that you have killed at least one German soldier. The best thing that can happen to you is that you will be hanged. My God, Anna, my gun jammed. I gotta have another one. Give me yours. Tell us what happened. She's a prisoner. Farmhouse a little away from here. We haven't got a minute to spare. We gotta get her out. Let's go. We can't do that. I cannot risk the lives of all my men. But she fought with us. She's one of us. We could be there and back in half an hour. Don't you understand? We've got to get her out. The Gestapo will come to question her. Tadek, it's too late. And I'm a boy, oh, right, Tadek. I know how you feel. We all. I don't care if he's right or not. If you won't come with me to hell with you, I'll go myself. Listen, Tadek. Nothing you can say will make me change my mind. No, you're right. I couldn't talk you out of it. Uh. Uh. You think Anna will talk? Women always talk. But I don't think she'll say anything the Gestapo want to hear. Come on, get out of here before it's too late. So you attacked a lorry for food? And got a bullet in you just for a good meal? I was so hungry. And this, of course, you brought along for dessert. Do I have to tell you it is a flashlight bulb? Maybe you wanted to take pictures of a loaf of bread. Maybe Frederick told you it was a special kind of bread, huh? Now tell me, where is the headquarters of your gang? Gang? We are no gang. We are part of an army. Poles that will drive all your stinking Nazis out of Poland. You're not being very clever. You will save yourself a lot of unpleasantness if you answer my questions. Now, will you not tell me why did you attack that lorry? Of course. I hate lorries. Franz. Take heart. Take out. That is enough. want to know just one little thing. What do you know about those cases you were trying to open? Nothing. That's why we were trying to open them. Oh,
I'm afraid the beauty treatment is over. I think we killed her. Tarek, I know exactly how you feel. If it had been me instead of you, I should feel the same. What I did had to be done. If the situation had been reversed, you'd have done the same to me. But before Sophia comes back, let's get this straight between us. There's a lot to do and a long way to go. Well, then you go. It's more than a day since Anna was captured, and all we do is sit here. Alec, what I said that night still goes, only more so. You've got one chance in a million of getting through. Even if there were no chance at all, I'd still go. All right, you listen to me, and when I'm through, you can go. We've been here for a day and a night. You've seen one sign of a German soldier? Why? If any information had leaked out, every inch of this place would have been searched. Hannah didn't talk. If she didn't talk, she must be dead. Is there any other answer? If you go back, you're just committing suicide. You'll accomplish nothing. Poland needs you alive, not dead. What? What road do we take to Lublin? Why don't we have any chocolates now? Because the Germans have taken all the sugar. Why have they taken all the sugar? Because they hate us. Why do they hate us, Daddy? Because... Oh, eat your apple, son. Look, some of those things coming. Why do they have fires on their tails, Daddy? To make them go. He's coming down. Carefully, Framish. Go to Uncle Maji. Ask him to collect men and come. Do you see where the aeroplane fell? Ask Uncle Maji to come quickly. Do you understand that? Yes, but why? Run! Run quickly! <laughs> Why? One of those flying things fell in the meadow. It didn't go by. Well, then go on. Hurry, hurry. Yannick, are your horses handy? I can get them, yes. Hurry then. You come with me and help me to get some gear. Not a sign of anything around here. Are you sure you've got the position right? But well, that's where the radar fix puts it. Well, check those bearings again. Get through the headquarters. <laughs> Good. They will see the damn thing. Can we not get it further out? Carol, those are your cars? Yeah. Drive them into the river and keep them moving to stir up the mud. All right, hold my horse. They may spot those marks on the ground. 
Here's something you can do. They will be coming out of school right now. Go and get together, a few boys. Can you see anything? No. It could have gone into the river. Chance in a million. Shall we drive down and ask those boys? All right. Didn't an aeroplane crash near here today? No, no. None of you boys seen it? No. <laughs> I'll give five marks to anyone who has. Do you mean one of those things that flies on their tails? Come here. Now. You tell me where you saw it, and I'll give you some chocolate. Where was it? Where's the chocolate? There you are. Well? About an hour ago, I was in that field, when over my head goes one of those things. I fall to the ground and wait for a big bang. No bang! I look up, find its tail started again, and it flew that way. You sure it went that way? Yes! But that's that. Means the gyro compensators failed. I showed you that last month. I know, friends, I know. Go to the village further down. down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I took so long getting here. When I got your message, I was halfway to Lublin. Well, here now. This thing makes a hell of a row. You sure it's all right? Where do we share? I've got the place around it. Go and get one of my lot. Go on, my friend. Good up. All right, where you go? to do. Now, first of all, the photographs. Are these the only tools you've got? And these from the tractor. There is no use for other tools in these parts. Well, if you've got nothing else, I guess I'll have to do. Be a bit like repairing a wristwatch with a sledgehammer. Are these any good? Oh. We collected them from all the sewing machines in the district. Wonderful. Yes. These are much better. Thank you. And I brought you this. Oh, marvelous. Thank you very much. God protect you. I covered it from every angle. Good. All right, now I want all of you to stand well back and take cover. There's over a ton of explosive in this thing. We're going to try and take out the fuse. We? Oui? I don't think I'd let you do it by yourself, do you? Why risk both our lives on this? There's only a 50-50 chance. Well, with me to help, we might reduce the odds. The best thing you could do to help is to get behind that rock over there and take notes of what I'm doing. And if the worst happens, the next man who tries this will know what I did wrong. So if you can take the notes. You're not going to get rid of me as easily as that. What good can you do? Tadek's the technician. Surely we should leave it to him. Four hands are better than two. At least I can hold the light. Yes, I mean, there's no this need no time for, for argument. Get behind that bank. Thank you. 
I think this gives access to the fuse. The charge should be in there. Yes, the mechanism is in here. Give me a small screwdriver. Right, here goes. Now, tell her to take this down. Three screws and a flange. I'm going to remove them. Zofia, write this down. Removing three screws from a flange. That's released it. Should slide out now. Yes. Give me the torch. It's attached to three wires. One white, one green, and one red. They lead to some sort of relay, I think. further. What are you going to do? I'll have to cut the wires. Have you got any wire cutters? No, oh, that's lucky. There are three wires leading to some sort of relay. One white, one green, one red. We're going to cut them. Do you know what they do? I think they operate the fuse. But they may actuate some sort of safety device. What does that mean? If I'm wrong, it'll go off. Hold this. Right where I cut. Green where I cut. Red wire cut. Yeah, now I can see the whole thing. The firing gear's right at the back. Got a long screwdriver. Try that. And now I can see what happened. There's a lever that caught. It must have been some other part of the mechanism. Come on, let's go. Oh, no, don't go back, please. We have to, sweetheart.
can't tell. The lever's still caught. That's the main thing. If only we had a long screwdriver. The hole's too small to get our hands in. Has anyone got anything we can use as a long screwdriver? Sophia, get back! My hands are small. Let me try. Get behind that rock. Somebody's got to do it. Well, not you. I'm the only one who can. I don't care. You do care, Stefan. Have you forgotten everything you told me before we left? Have you? Show sure what to do, Tadic. Now look. Do you see the screw in the middle of that plate? Yes. That's holding in the detonator. You've got to get it out. But it must be done without touching that lever. If you touch that, you set off the bomb. Think you can do it? I think so. Good. Here's the screwdriver. Under. Good. Let me have a look. Yes, that's got it. Now, see if you can work out the detonator. at all. What defense measures have you worked out? Fighter aircraft will form the first line of defense. They'll endeavor to shoot them down before they reach the coast. Second line will be guns. They'll become first line if the weather's unsuitable for fighters. The gun sites in full preparation. There'll be a line of air air along the coast supported by 400 heavy guns in the folds of the North Downs. So you're reasonably confident you can deal with them? From what information we have received, it would appear to be an automatic aircraft flying on a fixed course. If I can't shoot down at least half of those who come in range of my guns, then I, I should go back to bows and arrows. Half of them? Is that the best you can do? But we've so very little information about this weapon. If I could only have a sample, or even a photograph, of the completed article, then I could... Sir, may I interrupt? Yes? I've just received a message from Warsaw. The Poles have captured a flying bomb complete. Full details and photographs are on the way. Congratulations. Wonderful work. The British are delighted. This is Tarek. Oh. Kask. Sam as well. Your detailed report and photographs have shown them what they're up against. I'm glad they've got all the information they wanted. Of course, we had a piece of luck, the bomb coming down without exploding. We've got another job for you and Tarek, if you'll take it. Well, we know you need a rest. But we can't rest until we film these bastards out. Hmm. What's the job? The British want the bomb in England. You're joking. Uh -huh. They must be crazy. Do they realize the size of this thing? They plan to fly the Kuterin from Brindisi. Oh? With Poland lousy with Germans, where do they plan to land it? In the garden? Wait a minute. It may not be as crazy as it sounds. I bet old Churchill thought this one up. <laughs> the kind of thing you would do. Are you interested? You got a plan? Any idea how we're going to do it? Yes, as a matter of fact, we have. Do you want to hear about it? Well, we've handled the job so far. If anyone's going to do it, it should be us. Mm. I thought you'd feel like that about it. Look, this is the setup. There's a small German airstrip at a place called Janov that reports say is abandoned. But the bomb's nowhere near there. Yes, I realize that. That's one of the biggest difficulties. But unfortunately, there is nowhere else. Once the bomb has been dismantled, the question of the transport shouldn't be insurmountable. What do we do then? The man in charge of the area is Vlodek. He's already been advised of your arrival. 
Oh, has he? And he has the whole undertaking pretty well organized. Has he got any idea how we're going to get the thing from Zanaki to Yanov? No. We thought we'd leave that to you. Vladek? Yes, Stefan. I've been expecting you. Mrs. Tadek. How do you do? How do you do? Well, uh, I would like you to come with me and have a look at the field. All right. Follow me, please. This is the field. It looks all right. A bit soft. We had a lot of rain last night. Too soft? A Dakota is a heavy aeroplane. I'd hate to call it off. Probably too late for that now, anyhow. Come inside. I'll show you the arrangements I've made so far. We'd like to get rid of these uniforms, and I'd like to lose the lorry, too. Beside the flare part party, I have 400 well-armed men who'll be hiding here in the forest. Well, what about down here on the east side of the field? There will be a guard posted every 50 yards on this side of the field, the east side. How did you manage to get so many men together? The home army is pretty strong around here. The wonderful thing, one of the biggest German secrets flying off under their very noses. We haven't done it yet. Don't worry, Tadek. We will. Now, what about some food? Good idea. Can we get rid of these German uniforms first? Of course, of course. Come with me. London calling. Moira Hoff begins today's recital with Chopin's Nocturne in E-flat. That's the signal. They're coming tonight. Thank heaven the rain held off. I must go and warn my men. It may not be ours.
landing you made. Thank you. This is Gladek, the organized the landing group. That's a good idea you've got there, sir. We'll have to try it at last hope. Thanks. This is your passenger, Tadek. Look, I want to get this crate turned round. In case there's any trouble, I'm ready for a takeoff. You tell us what to do, we'll do it. Put a couple of men on the tail there. A couple on the right wheel. That'll get it round. Right. Yes. Stanislav, Janina, Jack, Pollock. Officer. Yeah. What? Where? Hold on a minute. Yes, I've got it. It's an area D. Thank you. Herr Commandant? Duty officer here, sir. A report has just come in that an aircraft has landed in a field in Area D. No, sir, they don't know. Yes, sir. I will send a patrol at once. Orderly! Those ground's a bit soft. How much does all this stuff weigh? About 1,500 kilos. It's going to be a bit dicey taking off. Oh, Bob, do you mind telling me what all this junk is? <laughs> My orders were rather mysterious. A Christmas present for Churchill. That shuts me up, doesn't it? Loading's finished. I'll go and start her up. Goodbye, Tadek. I can't believe we've really done it. I wish you and Sophia were coming with me. No, there's still a great deal more to be done here. Yes, I know. Especially for me. I'll be back soon. because there's too much weight. You'll have to unload some of this stuff. Wodek, a German patrol is on the way. Wander machine gun posts. We haven't the time. The Germans are coming. 
All right, everybody stand clear. I'm going to destroy the aircraft. No, not after all. We've done. You've got to get off. I'm sorry, but I can't let this plane fall into enemy hands. Stefan, Stefan, I have an idea. There's a fence over there. If we tear it down, we could put it under the wheel. Bloody, get your men. Right. Bob, you think you can do it? I'll have a damn good try. Charlie, AF. See Charlie, AF. Mission accomplished and returning to base. Over and out. Roger. Tomorrow it'll be in London. That'll be the end of it, won't it, Stefan? No. There'll be other bombs. Bigger ones, more terrible ones. What will the British do? The flying bomb attack on Britain began on June the 13th, 1944. Well-prepared plans were immediately put into operation. Of the 11,000 bombs launched, only 2,000 reached London. Had Hitler's original plan been fulfilled, London would without doubt have been completely destroyed. Further, had the flying bomb campaign been launched six months earlier, well, as General Eisenhower has written, our invasion of Europe would have proved difficult, perhaps impossible. Thank you.